Survival games are my absolute favorite genre these days. They're really stepping up their game. But today, we're not talking about the popular survival games or the well-known upcoming ones. Today, I'm going to show you some of the best survival games that nobody's talking about. Some of them are underrated, while others are so new that people aren't even aware of them yet. So if you're looking for something fresh and exciting in the world of survival games, you're in the right place. Let's dive into the top 11 survival games for Android that deserve way more attention. Let's get started. All right, starting off at number 11, we've got Into the Dead 3. Hey, it's me. Do you copy? I am... Um, I think I found something. You're gonna wanna see this. Maggie out. Now I know what you're thinking. Into the Dead, that's a classic, right? But here's the deal. Not many folks are chatting about the third one, and honestly, they're missing out. Now we don't have all the details on the game features yet, but the story of Into the Dead 3 will indeed connect to Into the Dead 2. The events in Into the Dead 3 take place roughly 10 years after the events of Into the Dead 2. The release date of this game is still unknown. The game was announced in December 2022, and there have been no updates since then specifying a mobile release date. All right, moving on to number 10, we've got The Bonfire 2, Uncharted Shores. This isn't your typical survival game. Think of it as a city builder meets survival. You're not just fighting off monsters, you're also managing a city, making sure everyone's got what they need to survive. It's like you're the mayor of a town that's just trying to make it in a world that's pretty much out to get you. The art style of this game definitely one of its standout features. It's got this charming, cartoonish look that adds a lot of personality to the game. The visuals give it an enchanting vibe, making the whole experience of building and surviving more immersive. So, if you're into games where you've got to think on your feet and keep your town safe with survival elements, then this game is for you. When it comes to survival games, Lost Light is a game that doesn't get talked about a lot. It might look like just another shooter game where you run around shooting stuff, but it's actually a survival game too. Here's what makes it a survival game. In Lost Light, you're thrown into a place that's pretty dangerous, and you've got to do more than just fight. You need to find stuff to keep you going, like food and gear, and you have to be smart about how you use them. Plus, you've got to fix up your weapons and look after your health. It's not just about shooting, it's about making it out alive when everything's trying to take you down. So. If you're into games where you've got to think and act like you're really trying to survive, Lost Light is one to check out. It's got that survival challenge with a side of action. Could you state your name? Astri Johansson. Okay. First question. Did you kill your son? I did everything correctly. Exactly as I was taught. Every word, every cut. But what I saw, it was something new, something we don't understand. Even Radcliffe himself was frightened by the things he saw. But while others saw a monster, he saw salvation. Silent Hill. Ascension is a survival horror game. This game is on your phone, but it's no ordinary game. It's all about making tough choices in a town that's super creepy. You're stuck in Silent Hill, and it's a place full of fog and strange things happening. There are monsters everywhere, and they're pretty scary. But here's the cool part. You get to choose what happens next. It's like those books where you pick the story, but this time it's in a game, and it's way more intense. You decide who's good, where to go, and how to stay alive. And staying alive? That's the hard part. You need to be smart, figure out what you need to survive, and sometimes you gotta run instead of fight. The choices you make are super important because they can either get you out or leave you stuck in Silent Hill. So if you like survival horror games and can make choices, then this game is for you. I didn't kill my son. You don't have 
Next game is Dead Blood Survival FPS. This game is all about survival in a world where zombies have taken over, and it's up to you to stay alive. In Dead Blood, you've got a whole arsenal at your disposal. From clubs and axes to carbines and shotguns, you're going to need them all to take down the hordes of zombies coming your way. And trust me, blowing some zombie brains out never gets old. But it's not just about the shooting. Crafting is key to your survival. You'll be scavenging for resources and using them to craft weapons and other essential gear. It's all about being prepared because you never know what's around the corner. And you're not alone in this. You'll start off with some help from the mayor's daughter, Elsa, and a bunch of other survivors. They'll help you navigate and give you tips on how to survive. So if you're up for a challenge and love the thrill of survival games with a Wild West flavor, Dead Blood, Survival FPS is the game for you. Just remember, some zombies can hear and smell you, and they're not afraid to call their friends. Stay stealthy, stay alive, and keep that blood circulating good. Okay, enough of these horror bloody survival games. Now let's talk about a cute game, Lumaterra. This game is all about having fun in a big open world where you can do all sorts of cool stuff. You can fight off monsters, grow your own food, and even make friends with some mysterious creatures you find. You can choose to be a fighter, a farmer, or a gatherer, depending on what you like to do. There's a skill tree that lets you get better at whatever you choose. In this game, you can also play alone or with friends, working together to survive in a vast open world. In Lumaterra, you get your own farm where you can grow over 100 different kinds of crops. But remember, you gotta take care of them or they'll wither away. You can also upgrade your tools and get better at farming. It's a game that's all about teamwork, adventure, and having a blast with friends. So if you're ready for some fun that's not all about scares and gore, Lumaterra is the game to check out. Moving on to we have Dead Kind Survival Project is a mobile game that's all about surviving in a world overrun by zombies. It's designed to give you a PC gaming experience right on your mobile device. So, you start off in this huge place that's crawling with zombies. The graphics are top-notch, like something you'd see on a fancy gaming PC, but it's all on your phone. You've got forests, cities, and all sorts of spots to explore, and each place is packed with secrets. The game feels super real. You can play by yourself or team up with other players from around the globe, it's always better with friends, right? Plus, the game keeps getting better with new updates that the creators keep rolling out. Okay, next is Ashfall. I know Ashfall might not be a pure survival game, but don't underestimate the fight for survival you'll face in this post-apocalyptic world. As a massive multiplayer online RPG, you'll team up with others or go solo, but the wasteland throws everything at you. You'll need to scavenge for resources to craft weapons and gear, brave the harsh weather conditions, and constantly be on guard against mutated creatures and rival factions. It's a constant fight for survival, wrapped inside a story-driven shooter experience. So if you're looking for a deep and engaging online experience with a strong survival twist, Ashfall is definitely worth checking out. All right, let's jump into Wall of Insanity. This game is a survival horror that takes you on a dark and intense journey. It starts with a police operation to detain a dangerous cult, but things go south real fast. The squad sent to handle the situation vanishes, and the special unit soldiers who come after them find nothing but an empty abandoned house. That's just the beginning. In Wall of Insanity, you're thrown into a world that's dead and smoldering, filled with mysteries and madness. It's a third-person shooter where you've got a big arsenal of weapons to fight off various enemies. But it's not just about shooting. You've got to be smart, too. The game is full of secrets, traps, and challenges that require you to be cautious and tactical. So if you like survival horror with action, then this game is for you. Survival is hell, even at the best of times. But it gets easier when you're not alone. Project Winter Mobile throws you into a frozen wasteland with seven others. The twist? Half are survivors, working together to escape by gathering resources, 
crafting tools, and braving the cold. The other half are traitors, disguised deceivers sabotaging escape efforts from within. Communication is key for survivors to strategize, share resources, and unmask the traitors through voice chat and emergency meetings. Project Winter Mobile is kind of like Among Us with a twist. Both games involve players trying to figure out who among them is the traitor while working together to complete tasks. The big difference is that Project Winter adds survival elements into the mix, where you also have to deal with the cold, find food, and stay warm. So, if you are a fan of Among Us and you want to play a similar game but with survival elements, then this game is for you. Finally, in number one, we have Ran Lost Island. Ran Lost Island is primarily categorized as an online medieval battle royale game. But, in the game description, it's described as a role-playing survival game. This indicates that the game includes role-playing elements where players assume the roles of characters in a fictional setting and that survival mechanics are a significant part of the gameplay experience. It challenges players to survive in a hostile environment while competing against others. The main goal is to be the last one standing, like in any battle royale game. But to get there, you must manage resources, craft items, and fight both the elements and other players. So, while the battle royale aspect is central, survival is key to achieving victory. All right, that wraps up our list of 11 awesome survival games for your phone that you might not have heard of. These games are great for when you want to try something different and really get into the survival spirit. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. If you had fun or found a new game to play, hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more cool game recommendations. Catch you in the next video. And until then, keep playing and keep surviving.